Lawmakers of Venezuela's parliament threw punches at each other on Tuesday in a brawl over the contested presidential election. The fight broke out on the floor of parliament between supporters of President Nicolas Maduro's government and opposition members, leaving at least one parliamentarian, Julio Borges, bruised and bloodied. Let's take a look at this. The opposition was reportedly protesting a measure that would block them from speaking in the National Assembly because they refused to recognize Maduro as the winner of the April election. When you said brawl, I thought I didn't realize you meant an actual brawl. Yeah, an actual brawl, yeah, not a rhetorical brawl. This ain't like Tea Party versus, yeah. you know. No, they got busy in, in there. And, and, and the reason is quite simply because they don't respect this outcome. But in Venezuela, lots of election outcomes haven't been respected before. I've never seen it to this proportion. I'm wondering what the U.S. is going to do. And I, and I think part of that is the fact that when you have a series of elections where you believe that you are living in a faux democracy, yeah. that resentment builds to a point where, like, all, all I'm asking is that we have a legitimate election, that we have a result we can trust. And I can understand how after going to the poll time after time, voting for someone, and what feeling do you mean time like that after time? not counting. What, what do you mean time after time? Are you suggesting and, Chavez's votes weren't le legit? I'm not even being sarcastic I right know, now. No, no I'm, I'm just saying, I think there are people who do worry about the legitimacy of that. Really? Yes. So you don't trust the Carter Center? <laughs> you look like I have two heads. Are you serious? No, no, no. I, I'm not speaking on behalf of myself. No, no, no. I'm speaking oh, I should on say behalf they of Venezuelans. Well, apparently, I mean, why do you, because the, the, the counter challenge. narrative, but the counter narrative to all of this is that they are just upset that their guy didn't win, which doesn't seem like enough to me to end up in that type of brawl. I'm saying it might be in the middle. They might be ticked off the guy didn't win. They might also not trust this election, but, right. but it might just be post Chavez. They may feel as if we've had a string of democratic elections and now post Chavez, Venezuela's uh, political sort of character is changing, and that's why they're so upset. I just don't want this Chavez in the process of this, because I don't know. I'm not saying Chavez didn't have uh, bad elections. I just don't know. Right. I'm surprised that this has carried on as long as it has. I mean, yeah. I, I, I anticipated yeah. the uproar in the days that followed the election. Yeah. I did not anticipate that it would last quite as long as it has. Do you think outside parties are stoking this? That's a great question. I don't know. Yeah, th that's I what I, that's what I'm suspecting. I'm suspecting that outside parties are stoking this because that seems to always be what happens. Even back uh, in the early 2000s when we had the, the attempted coup in Venezuela, it was because there were outside forces that were sort of animating the opposition forces, and that's why you see that happening. I suspect that's what's happening now. I think people want to see uh, unrest in Venezuela, and I don't mean the United States. I mean all sorts of nations want to see unrest in Venezuela because Venezuela serves so many uh, practical political purposes, and also with, with regard to oil, economic purposes.